Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to create a post on Instagram after a product has been made on your Shopify store. Now these days, more and more e-commerce sellers are using Instagram to promote their products. And frankly, I believe you should also do it. But the problem is there is no integration between Shopify and Instagram. So there is no data flow between them. So in cases like these, we have to bring a third app to properly connect them both. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Shopify and Instagram. And the best part of using Public Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. So what Public Connect does is, when a new product is made in Shopify, it will send this data to Instagram so that it will automatically add a post. Now this little integration can be done in few easy steps. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser pabli.com press enter okay so this is the website of pabli.com here hover on products and at the bottom you will find the option called as connect click on connect and then click on sign in okay so this is the dashboard of pabli connect as you can see i already have made an account in pabli connect you can also create your own free account in just two minutes here i would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and at the bottom you will find connect. Just click on access now. Now at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Shopify to Instagram. Shopify to Instagram. And then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Shopify because we want to send the data from Shopify. That is why. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new product? Okay, so new product is basically a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new product is created, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there are many more trigger events like new checkout, new collection, new customer, new refund, order fulfillment, and so on. All of them are a bunch of trigger events. Now. In case if you don't find the trigger of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com to custom build and trigger event for you. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new product is made in Shopify. Okay, so basically the gist of the process is we are just trying to integrate Shopify to Pabli Connect. So let's have a visit to Shopify. Okay, so this is my Shopify account. First of all, we are going to click on this part called as settings. At the left bottom, you will find the option called as settings. Click this and then just click on notifications. Okay, so this is the notifications page. Scroll down and here you will find the option called as webhooks. Just click on create webhook. Click this. Okay, so a box appears in front of you. So in the event, we have to make some changes. How about we make it as product creation. Okay, this is because we want to send the data only if a product is made in Shopify. Now the format will remain as JSON. Now coming to the part called as URL, let's go to Pabli Connect and copy this. This is the webhook URL you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the URL. Now comes the part called as uh, the webhook API version. It will remain same as 2021.01. Okay, so just click on save webhook. Okay, so it is showing the webhook has been added successfully. So basically at this point, we have integrated Shopify to Pabli Connect. This means anytime a new product is uh, created in Shopify, Pabli Connect has to capture the data. So as to ensure that Pabli Connect captures this data, let me go to Pabli Connect and click on this button, Capture Webhook Response. Click this. Okay, so it is showing it is uh, waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going back to Shopify. Okay, then I'm going to just click on product. So we are going to create a dummy product. Okay, so just click on this green button, add product. Okay, so the title of the product is uh, iPhone. Okay, so this is the product name. And the description, well, we can add some description. Uh, medium screen. 4 GB or 16 GB RAM. 16 GB 
RAM. Okay, so just a small description. Okay, and now coming to the media part. So we are going to add the image from uh, URL. So I'm just going to click on add media from URL. Okay, so I'm just going to paste the URL, URL of the image. So basically, this is the image URL. So this you can actually see. So let it load. So this is the image. Okay, so this is the image. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is the image. Okay, so basically, we have uh, pasted the uh, URL of this image. Okay, and just click on add media. Okay, so as you can see, the same image has been uploaded in Shopify. So the price uh, that is, uh, is 10,000 and uh, the price we are giving is 9,000. Okay, no charge, no tax on this product. No need for that. Okay, so basically we have entered sufficient details. So I'll just make it as active and just click on save to create a product. Okay, so a new product has been created and uh, the product is iPhone. Excellent. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm just going to check in Public Connect whether it has captured the data of this particular product. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, so as you can see the webhook uh, response is showing some kind of data. So this is the title that is the product name that is iPhone. Okay, so we have that and then we have the price and the, we have the compared price that is 9000 okay so this is the time at which it was created so the uh, most important thing that i want to check is the image url okay so as you can see this is the image url so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to check whether it's the correct url i'm just going to copy this and open this in a new tab okay yeah that's the same image excellent so basically now we all we have to do is uh, we have to just uh, map this particular data into instagram so that it can create a post now to do that all you have to do is uh, just click on this plus button okay so when you click on this plus button another window opens up this is called as the action window so in the choose app how about we make it as instagram instagram so as you can see we have uh, two action types that is instagram simple and instagram for business now i have an account called as instagram for business okay so i'm going to select this one but in case if you are working with instagram simple it won't matter because we have uh, the same kind of action events for both the instagram and instagram for business but at present i'm just selecting instagram for business if uh, you have a simple instagram account you can go with this i'm selecting instagram for business Okay, so now in the action event, how about we make it as publish photo video hash legacy. Okay, so just click on connect with Instagram for business. And the new credentials, just again click on connect with Instagram for business. Okay, excellent. So it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. Okay, so in the Instagram account to use, it is already by default showing Michael Karras. This is because this is the Instagram account that is it is uh, connected with. So this is the account, okay, Michael Karras, and this is uh, the username Michael Angelo one zero one. Okay, this is the profile name. So basically, this is the same profile. Now comes the part called as photo video ID. So basically, we have to get the photo video ID. So your obvious question is, uh, how I'm going to get that? So to, it's actually pretty easy. So first of all, just uh, click on this uh, plus button. Okay, now again in the choose app, let's make a, it Instagram for business. Okay, this time we are just going to click on create photo legacy, then click on connect with Instagram for business. In the new credentials, just again click on connect with Instagram for business. So basically, we have to get the ID of uh, this particular photo for Instagram. So it is showing the authorization successful, just press OK. Okay, so in the Instagram account to use, it is showing Michael Karras. Now comes the part called as the photo URL. So basically all you have to do, let me introduce you to this button. This is called as the mapping button. So when you click this, you will find all the data that we have received from Shopify. So let me just uh, scroll down and enter the data, the image URL. Okay, so this is the image URL. I'm just going to click this and the data will be mapped. Okay, so this is the URL. Okay, so it has been mapped. Now comes the caption. We are just going to add the title. So that is iPhone. Okay, so we have entered the photo URL and we have entered the caption. So when I just click on save and send test request, it will fetch me the ID that we want here. Okay, so let me do that. Let me generate the ID. Okay, so the API response is showing an ID. So basically, this is the ID that we want to just map it here. Okay, we just want to map this particular ID here. Now, before we do that, all we have to do is just click on connect with Instagram for business so that we can refresh it. Okay, so this is the recent setting. Just click on save okay so just click on this button and we can map in the id so let's uh, just scroll down okay and this is the id we want just map this 
okay and when we just click on save and send test request it will post this particular image this particular image into instagram so let me show you let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing another id so let's have a look in our instagram do we have uh, the data do we have the image of this particular iphone yes we do have the image so this is the image okay and uh, this is the caption iphone excellent so the presence of uh, this post in instagram shows that we have successfully integrated shopify and instagram with help of public connect so how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not but uh, before we do that let me go to public connect and let me explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going back to public connect and minimize this action window okay so i'm going to minimize this action window i'm going to minimize this trigger window okay so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated shopify to public connect and then you have integrated instagram for business or you can also integrate simple instagram but i am working with instagram for business and basically you have created a photo id and then you have uh, used the photo id to create a post in instagram excellent so now there is a perfect flow of data between shopify and instagram so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to make one more product okay so product it is add product okay so in the title we are going to add a samsung samsung phone the last time we have added iphone so this time we are adding samsung phone okay so the description is uh, 16 gb 16 gb and then we have the storage as uh, 256 gb okay and then we have the media url so i'm going to enter the media url okay so just click on add media so this is the phone okay okay so how about we just enter the price so this is the price ten thousand nine thousand five hundred no tax okay so this is a physical product just click on active and just make click on save to build a product okay so our new product has been created excellent so let's have a look in instagram do we have uh, the image concerning the same okay so after a wait of one minute we have got the image so this is the image and this is the caption samsung phone excellent so our integration is working absolutely fine this means anytime a new product is built in uh, uh, shopify it will be reflected as a post in instagram not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli connect if you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.